kind of dreading this. This is a matchup that he yeah. hasn't had to suffer from for FD months two? and months because Mr. E has been, you know, away in the land of croissants or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but that bread. Yeah, that that bread. Specifically getting that bread, getting that bread from yeah. Mr. E. Yeah, and now this is a nightmare return for Suarez. This has always been one of his least favorite matchups, at least player-wise. Uh, Mr. E's just so good at ledge trapping specifically. And Yoshi's generally pretty good at getting off ledge, but man, Mr. E makes it feel unbearable. Yes, yeah, especially oh. uh, when you have that really good kind of defensive on game. Oh, oh no, he's dead! Upbeat oh, combo dead. Not going to get forward area here. And Mr. E trying to lock Suarez down to the ledge here with no room to kind of breathe. With Lucina, you are free to throw out these aerials because they will slice and thrice do the eggs, you know, cooking up that omelet. Oh. And definitely looking to take the stock hover on out, controlling that space very, very well. And Suarez trying to utilize that double jump to kind of eat through an aerial, but he is reversing the corner here. Oh, that was a really good forward air. Waiting out that neutral air. It's something that Suarez has been throwing out purely because it, it's, you've seen, clanks with egg, beats out Yoshi's aerials. In the end, the answer for Suarez is to just wait and punish after the fact. And now that he's shown he can do that, Things are actually looking up for him at the moment. Yeah, you pretty much need that challenge against Lucita. And oh, yeah, having yeah. to hold that shield breaker. He could spot dodge it, but that in and of itself is risky. You're not going to die if you eat the hit, so you might as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Suarez is actually going up a stock here, but Mr. E quickly firing back with that dancing blade. You know, hit him with the side side, down side real quick. Yeah, the fact that Dancing Blade can end early, like that, that Rekka quality to it, yeah. it means that you never are 100% confident when you should drop shield. Yeah, he's always staggering. He's probably one of the best players to use his move, honestly. As you can see, finding these conversions, scooping up Suarez to the corner. Again, he's holding shield on that, and then he ends up dropping it. Yeah, staggering out real good. Yo, footstooling the footstool master? Ooh. Yeah, definitely got to watch out with East parry game, though. Yeah, poking around, waiting for that air dodge. Really good utilization of that down air because it is such a huge hitbox. You know, even if you don't get that kind of spike, it's going to send out a really favorable angle. Okay, didn't necessarily get anything crazy off of that egg lay, but it did get him back on stage. And at the very least, we'll make Mr. E second guess holding shield. I was saying earlier that Mr. E holding shield at the ledge, the fact that he's such good reactions makes it feel like checkmate against certain characters and players. But the fact that Yoshi has a command grab means he kind of has to respect it. And yep. now 82%. Suarez has oh, been moving really at 180, 164 for so long now. That's going to hit. Oh! oh Not still. a getting kill, but this is so much damage. Mm -hmm. Still hanging with the jump. But Suarez coming out, swinging with the down smash. That whole interaction was so good. Suarez basically, this is the thing, what do you got to do against Suarez? You have to push him to the corner. Give him no room to breathe and kind of just push your advantage state. That was honestly, that was a level of ledge play that I have, oh. don't think I've ever seen from Suarez. That was so good. The way he was utilizing eggs and continuously going for neutral air to just keep him in the blender. It paid off so well. But now at 196, he's very close to dying. Let's see if he can get anything more before he ends up dropping the stock, though. Yeah, still has a jump on lock, but Mystery sniping it out with an up air. Very strong move, definitely going to be taking it out. And Suarez getting in that grab and trying to push E to the corner right now to set up really good. Gets yeah, him in the egg. Yoshi's grab surprisingly good against Swordies because it's in a way his only disjoint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of times Sword characters will like, you know, throw out an aerial and a whiff on the ground and the fact you have that the, the, the grab that's a tether means you can sort of uh, punish that sort of thing just yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely make you think twice. Much like Suarez is making E here. Kind of guess at the ledge. There's the early up B to the down smash. So good. That bait. That Ooh. was so good. You saw the movement mm -hmm. there. You saw the freaking movement he was doing. Not only that, this is something that Suarez has been doing today and it's so commendable. Whenever he gets that opening, he goes all the way. He doesn't like, a lot of Yoshis, if they saw that, they're like, oh, he messed up. I can get a neutral air here, you know? I can get my really quick punish mm -hmm. and just put him off. But no, he's like, this is, you're dead if I hit you with the right move. And I know what the right move is. And right there, he goes for that turnaround down smash, taking the stock, taking the first game. Yeah, and, you know, maybe Suarez wants to break the curse of tonight. He's been going pretty much game three with everybody here at Encore. And, you know, maybe he wants to clean it up. Maybe he wants to go to that the quick 3-0 over Mystery, you know. He is playing pretty hot right now. Let's see if that hot streak continues, though, going back to FD. I, I agree with this. The platforms... 
make it easier generally Ooh. for Yoshi to land. <gasps> oh, <laughs> <where is that? laughs> okay. Battle of the footstools out here. And, and there it is again. Mm -hmm. It's so good against Sword Care, which is just it is a disjoint. And it contests them in ways that Yoshi normally can't. It's committal, though, obviously. Yeah, and Misery doing a really good job of kind of locking down Suarez with these up airs as well. But Suarez coming out with the pair on the down air. I love that he didn't do any options and kind of just waited for Misery to press a button so he could just regain the safety control. And now he has that center. He has his ledge again to himself. Oh, Pushed her with that down. I think that might have actually been a miss input. Hopefully it won't cost Suarez too much right here. Mr. E throwing out all these moves. Yeah. That was so good. You saw that. It doesn't kill, though. Great DI from Suarez. Yeah, still hanging on for dear life at 137. Mr. E setting up for this list shot. Very, very good here. And there's that chase. The down tilt and the wait for the down smash. That was good stuff. That was actually so smart. Because the way that the down, because he pushed him. Mm -hmm. Even if he, the only answer there would have been uh, a getup attack. Yes. Honestly. And normally when your opponent runs at you, you're expecting him to just shield the getup attack. That's like one of the classicest baits there is. So brilliant stuff from Mr. E. Let's see if Suarez can respond. Oh my god, that was instant. Just swing with that big old head. And up that yep, looking the tech chase off the down air as well. We're having a bit of a scramble. Yeah, I also like adaptation from Mr. E. Starting to spot dodge in the corner, recognizing that Suarez likes to go for that grab. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to avoid that grab at all costs. And adapt nice adaptation shields every hit of side B that time around. And yeah, he's catching on. He's catching on. Oh, he went for the mix-up with the spot dodge that Mr. E is going for in the corner. Also answers the uh, the F tilt. So I wonder, maybe down air, if he's really confident that Mr. E is going to keep spot dodging Ooh. when he pushed when he's pushing the corner. Yeah, Mr. E taking control of the ledge here, looking to set up for an edge guard here, but just you know trapping down at the ledge. Suarez trying to come back to that center. He doesn't have a jump. I don't know exactly what that was from him. Kind of a questionable jump, double jump on the stage. On Ooh! Lock him on down. Lock it down. Take him to prison. Apparently that's real. I've seen it too many times for it to not be real at this point. That's insane. Suarez is showing everybody what's up right now. Mystery definitely better take control of this stock here before Suarez runs away with this lead. <gasps> that was so good right there. The fact that Yoshi kind of low profiles when he runs is just being taken masterfully. Yeah, Mr. Reed still not able to take the stock from Suarez. 178, the Yoshi is still hanging on. He's been like surviving to 178, 190. He is not dying. Yeah, Mr. Reed, you can see he's trying to control his position very well, trying to catch Suarez with an approach. You saw that neutral right there. That was so good. Finally, mm -hmm. Mr. E takes the stock. Just Suarez got pushed to the corner a little Ooh. bit too hard. Hit him <laughs> with a 1 2 real quick. 94 on E right now. Suarez. In a pretty good barrel position right now, but he looking to lock down the center here, set up for this ledge shot. But Suarez, ah. no, trying to come back with the power of the double jump armor to okay. get a conversion. This and is still dangerous for Suarez, especially because Yoshi is uniquely vulnerable uh, to some of the real power that Lucina uh, has on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both kind of just waiting for their ends. That was, did you see him turn around? Mm -hmm. Because that basically takes Yoshi's nose hitbox and flips it the other way. That is 100% intentional micro spacing. And I'm loving it. Oh my god. Killing them frames. Oh, oh taking the tech. That drag down. Mr. E's still in this right now. Definitely does not want to give this game up to Suarez, who seemingly had so much momentum from before. What is the scramble right now? Oh, it's a footstool, but no jump. And the double jump armor through with the down air. Setting Mystery in a pretty bad situation, having to escape the ledge from Yoshi, but the back air not going to quite living? do it. <gasps> oh, this is good. this might be a bit of a heartbreaking oh. situation for Suarez. The neutral is still not enough. How many times is he going to have to kill this man for him to stay down? Kick, hook him with the Tims. Yeah, there it is. Whew. Finally closing this out. You know, that's two games on the board. Can he make it three? Can he make it three Can over he get that E? Three O sweep. 3-0 sweep for Suarez definitely wants to mix it on up. And keep in mind, that was E's counterfeit. That was. He wants to be taking him to FD. FD wasn't even working. Granted, uh, both I'm those games were very close. Mm -hmm. But still, the way that Suarez is playing, honestly, I think there's too much space. Yeah. Genuinely, no, the way that honestly. Suarez is moving, he's there's too much neutral going on. And Suarez is just kind of outplaying E in the neutral to the point where maybe we take it to a smaller stage. 
Like, like Perhaps, Battlefield is yes. kind of smaller. Yeah. I was wondering why they weren't really going to stages with platforms, because I know Lucina... Oh, I know 100%. It's because Lucina is so good at catching Yoshi's landing, and when Yoshi doesn't have access to platforms, if he burns his uh, double jump, which, I is, so. which which Suarez was doing a lot, it's so much harder to come back down onto the ground. Yeah, you have that FD, open space to kind of just side beat. That's the thing. The amount of times about. that he double jumped and then got caught with side B, whereas right here, he has all sorts mm -hmm. of options. Yeah, we're pretty safe on the platforms to land, but you're also pretty free to kind of tech chase off. Suarez getting the double nair, getting a little bit of chip damage on the nair. Get a little on the egg, but Mystery's setting up for this ledge trap here with a down tilt, but Suarez coming swinging from the fair and looking to kind of uh -huh. double dip as well and oh. forcing E on low. No, 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 what happened is he baited him into going for the footstool. He absolutely Ooh. did that. He jumped at him, That's but he drifted extra far back. That's the thing. He, normally, Yoshi, if he was looking to get back to stage, he would have gone into the exact arc that he would have gotten the footstool. But oh, Yoshi has the aerial mobility that he went backwards, and it was totally fine, and he just ended up committing too oh hard Oh, my God. Stage. Suarez cooking real hard right now. It's 49 on east side right now, and you can see him painting this moving out from E. He just definitely ah, looking yeah. to get that chase on in. There's that down to the down smash, taking that first stock. But Suarez, it's time. Oh, oh, he got that mash. He got no, that mash. Chain grabs. Looking a little, bit, a little bit like melee, huh? <laughs> Looking a bit more like uh, like brawl. I'm pretty sure that was the one where Yoshi had the uh, the grab release infinite. I actually had no idea. Oh yeah, he had a grab release infinite on Ness and Lucas exclusively. <laughs> that is wild. But Mystery kind of wilding out here with these up air ladders as well. You see, they got combos. We got ladders out here. And trying to command respect of the ledge with the shield breaker as well. A good get up attack is going to slice through all of that. Spacing. He managed to not get it by that forward smash. I don't know how he mm -hmm. did it, but that forward smash is going to be connecting. And E looking much better. Oh, than hold Shane. up. Not quite getting the conversion, unfortunately, off that forward air to the up air. I yeah. believe he was out of that percent range. No, no. What happened was he hit him with the forward air, but he landed on the main stage. Oh. And that's something too much extra distance that he needed to cover in order to get up there. That most likely would have been true if it was like a normal grounded up here on, on FD, for instance. Yeah, and Mystery really playing really smart in these scrambles, you know, building up that damage because he knows he's going to get the stock. That's Suarez catching him slacking a little too long on that ledge with the forward air. Speaking of nose. Yoshi's own schnoz right there taking another victim. The question is whether Suarez, he's got so much momentum the last two games. Can he actually seal it into a 3-0 victory? That seems to kind of be slipping away from him in a bit. And the difference between, like, getting, like, you know, Mr. E down to possibly his last stock right here and Ooh. having to play up to two more no games if you can't oh. close out this one. Mystery slowing this down very, very well. And hunting for that air dodge down, you can see it. And Suarez is really struggling to get control of back for the center. And he knows it very, very well. You see that neutral, that spacing on the shield. He's waiting. He's waiting for that down smash. The, the amount of, he got that so often. Yeah, that, that down tilt to down smash. Especially in the corner like that. That's, I don't even know what the correct answer is. I guess tech roll away, weirdly enough. Yeah. But if he reacts to that, he can just charge the down smash. It's, it's, it's very... Nah, it's that's it's it. tricky. You know what the um, checkmate? You know what the GG situation? I'm sorry. Yeah, still two one. Suarez is in the game count here. Mm -hmm. Still in the positives. Still in the positives, but I feel like Mystery has started to figure some things out. And in his counter pick, I hope he goes to a longer stage. Goes All right back, back to FD. I love that. I love that. Despite the fact that this is a stage that really, hypothetically, Mr. E should be winning on. Mm -hmm. Uh, you saw that those platforms do normally work out for Yoshi. Yeah. But I really think it's the length of the stage and the fact that there is so much neutral. And that Suarez's neutral has just been so good. The spacing, he doesn't need platforms. Platforms only get in his way. So we'll see if it pays off for a third time. Uh, and I'll immediately opens up with this combo. I'll Ooh. play you on his own stage. That's 48% going for E. And rising and setting up for this ledge. Oh, dead. oh what a beautiful Ooh. that DI on stage. The immediate conversion, just looking for that, is looking, you know, real shook right now. Not kind of being able to breathe, but here's his opening right now. Double jump arming through the up air as well. Getting that chip damage up with the eggs. And not respecting the egg. That's a rare thing for Mr. E. I think he's a little bit shook by the start here. And oh, brilliant. Knows that he's looking for the footstool. He changes up his movement. Yep. 
now being really smart with his aerials, kind of hanging around, looking for these openings on Suarez. There you go. Whiffing that up tilt on Shields. Not going to be a good story for you. And trying to F smash the landing as well. Coming out of it all right, though. Mystery resets his position once again, set up for the ledge. And Suarez! Yeah. Yeah, Holding that back air. That is the risk. Some characters maybe can't mess with Yoshi going for down B to the ledge. Lucina does not have that problem. Oh yeah, she'll definitely snuff it on out. Suarez having that DI getting behind Mr. E on that dare. And you can see that Suarez is really trying to just take the center back from E right now, but he's fine. He has these disjoints. He's perfectly fine with kind of just waiting around for Suarez yeah. to start swinging into his okay. field of vision. Here's the thing, like Suarez was really cooking in games one and two because he was outperforming E in the neutral. But on this stage, if he's no longer in command of neutral, it becomes so bad. Like you're seeing this right now. Mm -hmm. He's not really able to find a way to actually kill because he is being so patient. He's getting oh. too hungry, throwing out smash attacks, getting pushed to the ledge and not even having any recourse. That's death. Oh my God, three stocks to one. Mr. Yeah. E looking like he's about to bring this to a game five. Suarez being really aggressive with his ledge options, just coming back from ledge just in general. He just got an unlock and trying to look for the forward air as well, but unfortunately, Suarez kind of scoop, swooping that stock right on up. Definitely looking into challenge Mr. E out here, but he's perfectly in control of this situation, holding down the space. You can see him hunting for those air dodges, being real patient, popping the eggs as well for those bonus points. You know, throw back to the smash one, just pop that old balloon. Yep, there's that chase into the down smash, but Suarez is still hanging on for dear life right here. We're resetting yeah. again, back to that ledge. I am, I, I don't want to say this is a foregone conclusion, but this is rough for Suarez. I'm actually really curious, as we start thinking about game five Ooh. here, it's nice that he thinks it's going to work out. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, FD worked out for him game one, worked mm -hmm. out for him game two, to the point where he even counterpicked it game four. That was kind of a disaster. Yeah. Where, where is he going to go from here? I feel like... Well, we got three bands. We got a big old list. I think he's taking oh, oh, right back. Right back. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I mean, granted, you have a 66% win rate on this stage so far. But yeah. You I won the first two. And then only, you know, lost one game. Yeah, well, let's see. Last, last game, Suarez had an amazing opener, and he still kind of got blown out immediately after that. What is it gonna happen this time around? Okay, double back air. It's okay damage, but let's see if he can keep E at the ledge. Oh no, yeah. he's being, yeah, you see, he's playing around Suarez's options so much better right now. There's been a transformation. Can Suarez keep up? He has no jump. Yeah, E really hunting down Suarez right now. You see that Nair safely converts to the forward air as well, you know. Definitely doesn't have to gun for that stock and sail that S-Mash as well. And Suarez looking to kind of just catch up this deficit. There's a trap in the egg from the command grab. And he is holding down the center very, very well. But can't be whiffing that dash attack like that. Mr. E is going to be setting up for this ledge trap once again. As Suarez just tries to take it back with the eggs. But hold up, forward air. That's big damage. Oh my god, the back air is not enough to kill quite yet. But Ooh. he's going so deep. He's going way too deep. Nah, he's oh, fine. Magna he's hands. I, I he did got not you. think that uh, Mr. E was going to let him get back. Oh, what? Oh. Back air whipping, unfortunately. <laughs> and Suarez having the DI and out and air dodging right How? back in. That was a super Mickey Mouse. Uh, he should be dead three <laughs> times over, honestly. It's a McDonald's Playhouse. All right. Well, getting taken out to backyard. All right. With the back air, finally taking this first stock of the game. All right. At the very least, he has managed to deal about 110%, but. This is where things get really tricky. Yoshi's kill power can kind of be inconsistent, especially if the opponent's playing Ooh. around it, but brilliant stuff right there. Goes for the cross-up with the up tilt afterwards. A lot of times, you, you cross an opponent up, they will drop their shield. Sometimes they whiff, sometimes they don't exactly know what to punish you with, and that's in that situation, uh, the up tilt coming around, it's the back hit that will combo into the up air beautiful. Yeah, these air dodges are being real nice and comfy for Mr. E right now. It's basically just inviting him to just sleep on Suarez and kind of get this free damage, these free juggles. And when you're in this situation against Yoshi, you better be praying because you're going to be very struggling to land so, so much against this big disjoint. Yeah, I, I can tell. 
Suarez is kind of, remember in that game one when he was just like, he would Ooh. find, oh, he would get a single opening, he would take it to the max. He's not, <gasps> oh my god, there never mind. Go. I, I was about to there say, he's go. not maximizing his punishes anymore. Prove me wrong before I can even finish my words to you eat gotta them. Gotta put your heart on the line. Put everything out there. Go for the money. Oh, let's see if he can get any extra credit. 159, he dies from so much right here. Can he get any other hit in? Oh, unfortunate. He tried to stagger it out, but you know, Suarez coming right in into the arms of Lucina upbeat. Nair oh. train, a semblance of Nair coming online. Up airs too, coming around for days. Yeah, going a little bit too high right there. Okay. Hold up. Yeah, at this point, back. yeah, at this point, he is super conditioned not to jump after he gets hit off stage by a light move like that. Okay, gonna be following through. Doesn't quite manage to dash past the uh, neutral air though. 99% on Suarez. We've seen that he can make comebacks happen, but this is getting really dicey. It's been game five, a reversal. Oh, the back air's too quick. Yeah, Suarez has not been able to land for a hot minute right now. And with this really, really oh! pressure, but hold up, maybe off the top? Oh no, not quite enough. Oh, hold but hang on for the air dodge. Hold on, no jump. I don't think there's a jump, but he doesn't need it. He makes it back. No, oh, that's gonna be game. Oh no. Suarez. He had oh. the palm of his hand. But good stuff to Mystery. You know, playing uh, that 